Hi guys, welcome back to Flackbacks channel. I'm Shaina and I'm here on this channel to do a series of vlog about my journey in reviewing for the Cisco Season 8. If you're new to our channel or if you just found this video somewhere, please support me by liking this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever I posted a new video. Still guys, I'm on the second round of my review and let's get to the point of this video. On my previous video, I'm showing you the kind of questions that may appear on the real CCNA exam and I also show you the questions that look so hard for me and yes guys I'm still utilizing the Alpha Prep quiz or Alpha Prep test engine so I can get familiar with the real season 8 exams. Let's get to the point of this video. I'm going to show you three questions that I encounter. Which is for me, this is a difficult question. Or I'm not really used to this kind of question. I'm not yet on that level that I can understand the error messages. I'm going to show you the questions that look so difficult for me. And even if I read the solution, till. I need time to realize why the answer is like that and guys if you can give me some explanation to those question I really really appreciate it don't hesitate to post it on the comment section this is the first question this output comes from a network analysis tool it lists a group of lines for each header in a PDU with the frame or data link header at the top then the next header typically the IP header and so on the first line in each section has a gray highlight with the intended line below each heading line listing details about the fields inside the respective header you will need to remember some parts of the various headers and compare those concepts to this output to answer this question. The question is, your network has been configured with a dynamic routing protocol. As a result, which information is used from the graphics shown here when a router is making a routing decision? There's a figure and this is a result. And the question here, when a router is making a routing decision. The answer here, guys, is letter d letter d which is on the highlight internet protocol and that is a destination address this is the explanation about that when making a routing decision the router looks at the destination ip address of each packet and compares the ip packets destination ip address to the routing table and finds the route that matches the destination address this route identifies the outgoing interface of the router and possibly the next hub router i think guys there are questions on the real season a exam that will look like this if they will give me this kind of situation how can i assure myself that i can answer it next time i may not understand it by now those gray highlight ethernet 2 internet protocol transmission control protocol hypertext transfer protocol but i think those highlights are referring to the network layers let me know guys your thoughts on the comment section about this question and how difficult this question is to you and can you give me some tips if ever i uh, encounter this question again and what will be the best thing to do to exercise myself in this kind of uh, situational questions that's the first question guys and here's another one the question is you see the following status code line status down protocol status down or disabled interface status or disabled what is the root cause the correct answer here guys should be a port security has disabled the interface and they have a solution here if you had these status codes they would represent that port security had disabled the interface is it really necessary to memorize the status code and where i can see it guys from the topics that i am reviewing can you give me a certain topic where i can also so exercise myself with this kind of uh, questions i am doing the lab exercises on the packet tracer more on configuration and i don't have any idea what kind of exercises do i need to undergo so i can be familiar with this status code or there's a manual for this where you can be familiar with different status codes 
let me know guys your resources and here's the last question the question is a router configuration uses the default reference bandwidth setting and also uses ospf cost defaults as calculated by the router analyzing the exhibits output for interface serial one which answer lists the approximate interface bandwidth of that interface and it shows here guys a kind of information or network information after you type the code show ip ospf interface you can see here serial one is up line protocol is up i can't remember or i just really don't know exactly what you called this part network status line information or device status device information or should i say data the needed data after we enter the a certain command so in this example show ip ospf interface and here's the data and i'm still kind of afraid in this kind of situations if ever i met this situation on the real ccna exam and as you can see the question here is which answer lists the approximate interface bandwidth of that interface the answer is 1.5 mbps and i don't know guys where can you see it from the data or where can you check it from here there's a solution there they says here first note that the output of the show ip osp of cost command list a cost of 64 and the default setting on the auto cost reference bandwidth ospf configuration command is 100 meaning 100 mbps finally ios uses a default ospf cost calculation of here's the formula reference bandwidth divided by interface bandwidth next the formula you need to use consistent units so using bits per second and that is how they get the answer and that's how they get the answer 1.5 mbps i just need a little time to absorb this kind of question mostly interpreting data or interpreting error messages being familiar with those kind of questions and as the time goes by i discover my weaknesses little by little and i'm getting idea how really hard is the real season a exam is i need to also focus myself in interpreting data and interpreting error messages and also i'm having problem with those situation with topologies and we will discuss that on my next video and that's all for my video now guys i hope you learned something from my mistake or you got an idea of some kind of question that you may encounter if you like this video or if this video somehow helps you please don't hesitate to like it and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and again guys please don't forget to follow me on my linkedin account my name on linkedin is shine sawa you can search on that and please also don't forget to follow flashbacks on our different social media accounts all the links to that are also on the description below so guys if you haven't taken advantage of the alpha prep exam you can go to flackbacks.com slash alpha prep and let's take advantage of this test engine and also the cisco lab exercise guide that you can take advantage for free all the links to that are also in the description below and what else that i want to say is see you on my next video